and welcome to episode three of Stitch and Stash, a Northern BC podcast. We're coming to you from Prince George, British Columbia in Canada and the ancestral territory of the Clay Lake Tanay. I'm Sarah. And I'm Lisa. And this is, as we said, episode three. Excellent. So um, Lisa's son made us a sign. He says we are not promoting our other accounts enough, so feel free to follow us on Instagram at Northern Stitch and Stash or on Facebook at Stitch and Stash A Knitting Podcast. See you over there. Yeah, we can say things like when we might put on videos. Yeah, new videos or, or some good deals that we found on yarn. Yeah. Things that come to our attention that we might like, think you might like. Good things idea. like that. Yeah, let's do that. So, how's your two weeks? They were so busy that I didn't knit. Okay, that's not true. I took a page from your book and I was dedicated and I only did on one thing. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't do anything on the other one, really. Our survey was, um, a lot of people have more than one thing on the needles. Yeah. Which, There's a lot more Team Lisa. That, that, that's good. I mean, I, I can see the value in it. I did cast on some socks to have, I don't know, just in the car, but they're slow now and I don't use knit them very much but I haven't given it a fair shake it's only been like a week so, so what's your other project you have socks in the car yeah and I've got another project on the needles you, you do okay yeah I'm just at home I thought you were cheating no and you said oh yeah I started a new project <laughs> my car knitting and so I you... sit in the car and just work on one project and that's your only project <laughs> <laughs> no oh. no I wasn't that smart <laughs> mm -hmm. But I do see the I do see the value in being able to grab a bag and go, and you know I'm starting to to think there there might be something to it. I don't know if I quite need all the project bags full of all the projects, but so do you put intended yarns in a bag of its own on your shelf, not started? Are your project bags yet to come? So I used to take the yarn and the pattern that I wanted to use and do it all together and put it into a Ziploc baggie and throw yeah. it downstairs. And so I would just grab it. I hate being between projects. I find it get really cranky. I remember my mom saying that she didn't like being sort of in between. She liked mm -hmm. to know, oh, I'm working on this next, right? Mm -hmm. But that was like years ago when I would feel like I was a little bit more prepared. Now I don't really, I just wing it and you know. And yes, things. I'm pretty sure your yarn room, you've been, this is the most prepared you've ever been. Well, this podcast has helped because then I have like separated new stuff from old stuff. And yesterday I did clean out a, um, a bag because I wanted to show it. And so I cleaned it out. It was just had like, um, balls of yarn that I'd, oh. um, from projects I'd finished and stuff like that, that I hadn't, it was enough. It's too much to do nothing with and not mm -hmm. enough to do something with, so I just wanted to take them back downstairs, so I just threw them in the bag so nice. I could transport them. And last night I thought, you know what, I should wind some of these, like, cakes, you know, when mm -hmm. you use a cake, and I, I'm a center puller. Mm -hmm. Me too, yeah. So, and I, I think I need those compression stocking kind of thing for the outside of it. I was thinking about making some. Yep. Yeah, those would probably be good because sometimes I just end up with a garbled mess. So I pulled those out of that bag and I went downstairs to wind them, like recake them. And I have told you all my woes of the ball winder. Yeah. And I consider myself a reasonable intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> like reasonable. I could, I can, I've made it out of an escape room. I used to work in an environment where I set up surgical instruments, delicate things. Intricate well, things. Just, just wait. Did you have to see how the surgical instruments were used? Well, I had to set it up so the doctor could use them properly. Did they come back and say, Sarah, why do I have a ball of... Why is my yarn tied to the ball winder? Yeah. No, never. Never. So, so it should work. They're, I don't right? understand why this isn't working. So I went downstairs with my... Mm -mm. Sorry, I didn't want to ugly out the nose thing. Okay, now tell the story. Oh, <laughs> why do you always assume it's going to end in some kind of disaster? I've uh, experienced. Okay. So I go downstairs and I think, all right, I got this. So I look at the two ball winders and I'm like, is that the nitpicks ball winder and the sheepies ball winder? 
And I'm like, this is just a small thing of yarn I'm gonna retake. I'm gonna use the Knit Picks Ball Winder to just wind this up. Well, it ended up going over the top of it now because it was just, I was sitting and cranking and, and it's not on a flat surface that dresser kind of angles. <laughs> So it's something to do with that. So anyway, I had half the ball there and half the ball attached to the ball winder at the top. Got that all untangled. And then went to my sheepies one. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do it on this. The sheepies one worked like a dream. So I went to pull the ball off and the, the spindle came off and the, the little nub that keeps it yeah. on the rotation yeah. thing came off as well, but I could not fit the two back on together. Did you wind it the wrong way? No, I, it's like I couldn't fit the spindle. The, the way that it's designed, like it, you have to position it up a bit and put this thing under it, and that's what keeps the tension. So apparently my sheepies ball winder was put together all wrong from the beginning. I have no idea how I assembled it the way that I assembled it, mm -hmm. and that may be about 80% of the problem with that ball winder. So after about an hour of looking at the two pieces and trying to figure out how, like I'm like, Okay, this has to go back together. Like this clearly goes here, and this clearly goes here, yeah. and they were on here together, and now they will not go back on together. <sighs> so yeah, I was trying to find an Allen key because apparently I thought the Allen key that was in my <laughs> knitting room was like something my husband left behind, so I was annoyed and at one point probably and put that away. Yeah. Couldn't find the right Allen key. It was just a gong show. I'm like, I want to just spend five minutes recaking a ball. No. Oh. You know what you could do next time is just sit and watch a show and wind it into I'm a ball. I'm going to pay people to wind my yarn. <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> come wind my yarn. I'll pay you $2 this game. <laughs> Bring it to my house. It's maybe. Right? I want to put the small balls. Hang on. I've got a customer. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Sorry about that. Had to do a quick thing. We're sitting today in Lisa's Bakery, so um, there's some action happening. Yeah. Customers coming, picking up some things. Every once in a while, I have to work. Right. It's fine. It's all good. She made me tea, so I'll just sit here and drink that and keep her entertained with my bow winder stories. So anyway, I so thought... I was going to say, I take all my itty, itty bits. Yeah. Because they're pretty colors. I choose them for the colors. I want to get a big hurricane vase or something and put them all in. It would be like Christmas balls. I saw a wreath that you can do like that too. Yeah, but like then you can you, take those and then you you basically put them onto like a wire wreath. But do you commit them to life? I don't know. I guess it depends on how big the ball is. Yeah. Sometimes I just won't go back. Yeah. I don't know. It's okay. I don't know. The hurricane base thing sounds cool. Mm -hmm. I, just, I don't have room. I'm trying to minimize. Can you tell? Yes. <laughs> oh. We'll show you what happened at the Great West uh, Northwest Fiber Fest after. You can tell my minimalism journey is going well. You know what? You had you exercised great control. I did. I had like a paid off visa and I only put like two hundred and some dollars on it. My husband was shocked. He thought it would come home smoking. That there'd be like <laughs> this fire breathing out of my wallet. He he said that he knew everything and he wasn't he let you in the truck. Well, he doesn't care. That's he good. spends a lot of money himself. We both have our own vices that we enjoy. And he's not stupid. No. And if I don't have yarn, I'll be cranky. And if I'm cranky, then he guess who gets to put up with me. It's so true. It's kind of like any win on his situation. And <laughs> he probably has warm feet and head and hands. I don't because know for him. Oh. Oh. I don't know. He doesn't... We talked before, like he doesn't really like the the little socks in his work boots, right. and he does have like a couple pairs that he'll will pull it when he's sick. But he doesn't usually like things on his feet. Oh. Runs hot, yeah. And he does have a toque, but then he only wears his toque really for work. So, um, they have a Coca Cola toque nice. that he wears. So that's nice. And he wears like the industrial mitt. So he's good. He good. just handles. I mean, if there's an apocalypse in the world, like shuts down and we can never buy any of those things again he will appreciate my talents he will yeah but he does like the knitted blankets that i make and see we won't have a knitted blanket in the house that i made no why um because uh, my gramps is a lot of knitting mm -hmm. and um 
a, a, a blanket is larger than a grab's cardigan. Cardigan? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think you can really compare the two, Lisa. Well, I have a temperature blanket started. Yeah. Uh, for 2020, I got to March. It's only two years old. <laughs> That's only two years old. And it's only three months done. So, um, it is four feet by, I, I don't know. It's not It's finished. like one of those runners for the end of your bed? Or say a lap blanket. Yeah, well, there yeah. you go. I think it's done. Are you ever going to finish no, it? No, I think it's done. It's done. Yeah, okay. It's had some time out and now it's actually done. Who likes warm colors anyways? Warm colors? Well, oh, because you got all the cold. Yeah. You got through the cold months. That was when we had minus 40 something. And I only had minus 25 and colder as one temperature. So it was a lot of one color and it was, it was kind of boring. And then that summer it got really, it was in the plus forties. Do you remember? Yeah. And I only had one color for above minus the plus 25. So it would have been a lot of dark red. So it's, it's less boring this way. Well, I mean, I think to knowing what you want to work on, I think that when you have a hobby and it's to bring you joy and it's your thing, if it's not bringing you that anymore, you right. just need to, I mean, I'm sure if you took all of that, I don't know if you're going to reuse the yarn or if it no. was like, so I mean, to just take it all and to don donate it to like the auxiliary guild or even like some of our assisted living facilities. Oh, that's a good idea. When I worked at Gateway, um, Gateway's an assisted living facility here and I took all my sort of <clears throat> acrylic yarn that I had inherited from Mike's grandma and I just had so much from both grandmas when they both passed because they also had stashes right yeah. and so I went through and I kept the colors and the things that I wanted but I did let a lot go because I just couldn't I just my yarn to life expectancy were not equal I was going to have to leave a lot of yeah. yarn and unfinished things so I it's a good idea took it there and they were thrilled Good idea. They were thrilled. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. That's good. So, what did you finish? Did you finish something this week? Well, I did. I finished my February lady sweater, which I was going to wear, but it's still wet. I blocked it yesterday. Um, I mean, I should have been a little bit more prepared. How wet? It's not horrible. It's just a little bit damp, but it, it's... It's nice in the arms. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. And I do like the, um, I wish I only did one button though, so that it would kind of like flow nicer. We can also take, I bet you we can insert some pictures. It really opened up this, um, this lace work when it was when walking it. it. Yeah, and I did actually soak it. And then I threw it I threw it in the dryer on the spin or washer on the spin cycle. Oh, good. Um, to get all the extra moisture out. It was just so drippy and it was like just way too much. So it's I ended up throwing it in there just to kind of spin out the stuff. And that's but, it, right? Well, yeah. We have a, a sad tale of woes. It's not funny at all. It is actually quite funny and it's a <laughs> learning lesson because sometimes we need to be knocked down a peg or two. I knit the Simple Hug Cardi by um, Cozy Up Knits, and it's a long sweater. Like, I'm not a short person, and it went down past my bum when I was done. Yeah. It had nice sleeves to about there. It was nice, and I noticed the first time after I washed it, it appeared to be shorter in length, and I thought, well, I don't remember it being this short, but... It's probably fine. And I had just washed it, like soaked it, and I think I'd thrown it in on, um, like delicate or whatever. Well, this time I did delicate as well, but I now have a teeny tiny bolero. <laughs> I have, like the arms are not even wide enough to fit an arm through. Can you no, even get your arm I don't through? think, no, uh, I could, but. You know, when it's, and you can tell where I yanked on it because it's like dro droopy in the front part, but it's totally like a balloon. <laughs> it it would have fit a kid. It, it's felted. It could actually, this might be an idea. That's super cute, actually. No, I don't think it's super cute. Because it could just be like a little 
very warm, small sweaters. I can't even get them on. I'll look like that episode of Tommy where he's like, fat man in a tiny suit. I can't, I can't even get it on over my arms. Well, you try it. Later. You can look cute. We'll bedazzle <laughs> it for you, like a little oh. turquoise be bedazzled bolero. Oh. You can, uh, it's going in the garbage it, is where it's going. It's a little bit um, felty. It's felty and it, it was the drops charisma. I've got it at the top drawer. So it's not like it was huge. And it says it was super washed, so I assumed. And mohair. I don't know. Right? And, uh, what? And mohair? Mm hmm. And I don't have a agitator in my washer. So I assume the delicate cold would not do that. I bet you if I wanted to felt it, it wouldn't felt. And no. I, I don't know. But I pulled it out and I was expecting to have See, like the down. sweater. You know how like when you pull it out, it's like. There's so much, and I was just like, I'm like, oh. I picture Ross leaning into Rachel's washing machine going, uh-oh. Yeah. Where know. there's one red sock in her weights. Mike says to me, he's like, he, I can't believe, like, I sanitized my other February lady sweater and made the yarn all weird. And now I've done this, like, he's like, do you even like your knitting? And I'm like, <laughs> it would appear I do not because of the things that I do. That's right. But you know, I hand washing them, I don't. <sighs> so you're a gifter. I enjoy, like <laughs> I, I like wearing them and I like making them, but I don't like the whole washing it. I don't, you know, when you soak it and then you have to wring it out and mm -hmm. try, there's so much water. And then my, I think I need another set of blocking mats too. Cause mm -hmm. the ones that I have, it's not enough to really do anything with. I have an idea and don't steal my idea. I'm gonna patent it. What would you, what would happen if you took a big frame and stretched screen, like window screen, mm -hmm. around it and attached it, and used that for a blocking mat where it could breathe on both sides? That's a good idea. Or you don't steal it. One of those. It. You can buy like those drying yeah. racks. You can buy those drying racks too on Amazon. Like the round. Oh. You can buy quite big ones. It's like a hoop with a mesh in it? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's not my idea. And then you can just hang it off a hook. Because you can oh, it's because like it's in like... herbs dry like that and stuff like that. Oh. I've seen them do use it for that too. I see. But I mean I don't know. Clearly I need to pay more attention. That's I think what the bottom line is. I need to slow down. Mm -hmm. Maybe follow an instruction or two. Maybe. Or phone a friend for help. Mm -hmm. So how about you? What'd you finish? I finished my ranunculus and I just did the short sleeves where you just cast off and it has a pretty funky way of um, doing the added stitches um, to make the arm opening bigger um, but I like it it's a nice weight this remix light is it's doubled so it's a little bit thicker and I used a, a larger needle on it so it's still a little bit lacy but no I, I like it yeah it looks really good thank you looks really good this cast on method was a crochet on help me out with this where you use different yarn uh provisional provisional crochet cast on yeah that's what i did for my love now so but it was live stitches when you took that provisional out right yeah this one doesn't have live stitches so you crochet it onto the knitting needle and then you knit it around and around and you join it and you finish this top ribbing section and then you take out provisional and there's no live stitches. I, I do have the ranunculus queued up and I, I haven't purchased it yet so I don't I haven't read through all that stuff but it, it feels like magic. Well I'll have to give it a whirl. And it's it's not live. It's perfect. Well it's got a, it sits nicely on you. Thanks. Yeah, I, I like it. So, um, I think I'll wear this a lot. Yeah. If you need soft. help washing that, let me know. Thank you. I appreciate it. You are a good friend. You can wind my balls and I'll wash your sweaters for you. Oh. That's <laughs> nice. It's so Not nice. Give her. <laughs> That's great. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, no. Right? Yeah. I don't know. So, so, what did you buy? At that Great Northwest? Yeah. See, 
It's not very often that we both have new yarn. I bought a couple things. We have one, we only have one yarn shop, right? In Prince George, just top drawer. Yeah. And Darlene is pretty awesome. She has made her best attempt to get yarn from every province mm -hmm. in these, in Canada. And she's got um, Rowan and some international stuff. So pretty good selection. I just, I wish she had a website because I feel like there's so many people that are remote and and rural, but with websites come shipping and it's things true. like that too. But Having I mean, like when you look at the north, the way the north is laid out, yeah. you know, some some people don't have, aren't as lucky to have that, right? So true. maybe one day she'll yeah. have that and then everyone can enjoy experience the, the things she was there. There's so many darn shops that like too, when you Google it and you start looking at what's around mm -hmm. in that, like you, we were at that, um, at the Fiber Fest and, uh, what is it, Faking Sanity? Which is from Dawson Creek. Yeah, yeah. Like they had some really nice yarn and mm -hmm. I think you can order from them online. I think so. I think, because I was looking at the Crux Fiber, it's very nice and I forgot. So Lisa and I actually went in there this year with a plan. Yeah. So we've not ever gone to Knit City. It is on our list of things that we want to do, the whole Knit City experience. But this, how many vendors were there? 15? Probably. Maybe. 15 to 20 vendors. Yeah. And I was like overwhelmed. Well, how can you possibly get the things you want from all of the vendors and still pay your mortgage? Or eat? How? how? Well, I think, I think you. Save up for it. Save up. And, you know, like Lisa this time, she went in, she had projects in mind. She had a plan. She's very prepared. And I'm, I'm a total <laughs> shit show. What? So I just show up, card in hand, and look, look at pretty things. So we're, we're a little different in that. That's okay. Although, then you just cast them all on, and I wait and do them one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so... After not working on my other project and starting this one and really not knitting anything else and finishing it, I can appreciate the, the benefit of speeding through something and having it. I can. Or just enjoying the journey of it. It's true. Right? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. I, I'm, I just have a really bad memory. So I can't remember where I left <laughs> off on things like truly. And, and the notebook helps. Oh, it's, mine's still But funny. a lot of times I still think, oh, I'll remember that. And no, you won't. It's gone. So with this, we got to see other yarn, other um, suppliers. Well, and stuff that we'd seen on other podcasts that yes. I was like, oh, I really like that. Um, and, you know, then you see Salem Shipping. Well, then really. You can touch it. That's important. Mm -hmm. And feel it. It is. So I got, I probably should have been a little bit prepared here. So from Bramble Ridge, so she's out of Maple Ridge, right? Oh. Where's yeah. Bramble Ridge from? Let's see. I can't read the tag. It's too small. Uh, Mission. She's from oh. Mission, D.C. Okay. So I got some Surrey Alpaca in Slate. The color's not bad for how it's picking up. Right? It's, it's, it it kind like of looks color. like it matches the bakery. Mm -hmm. And then this was a special yarn she dyed just for the Prince George Yarn Show. It's called PG. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, man. What did I lie to you, friend? You're, why didn't you tell me? I couldn't find you. Right. We split up. Yeah. So we went in with a plan. I said, let's wander the whole thing first. Yes. Then, because last time I blew all my money at the beginning and I had nothing left for the end. Well, oh. I did, but I just yeah. felt like I didn't. So, because um, then, I, then I viewed the credit card scheme and I was like, stop. Um, <laughs> so this time, wandered the whole thing, then we kind of divided and conquered, and she yeah. went her way, I went my way, and we met back up at the end. So that's why you didn't see this, and I'm surprised, because you did buy some stuff from her, didn't you? No, I did not. Oh. No. But it sucks to be you. Okay. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> well, it's, you know, you get in there, and it feels like it's a mad, like, what's that game show with the shopping carts, and you have to go in, and you have to beat the clock, and... Mm, but you actually have to do it with your credit card. It, yeah, I could do it. No problem if I wasn't paying. Right, but it feels like you go in there and it's like, someone's going to get all my yarn. Right. And so we had to say focus and we had to do what we wanted to and do. And Lisa actually had a plan, as previously mentioned, where yeah. I just 
was it's like okay. the mad woman's footprints all over the joint. This PG is going to be pretty. I thought I could hold them together. Maybe for a, for a hat or some mitts or a shawl yeah, or... That'd be nice. I don't know. Hmm. Just give it a whirl. Lovely. So it's got some neat speckles and stuff in it. Very nice. Do you want to show something you got next? Sure. I am going to learn how to brioche. And I'm going to do it with the uh, Twisted Sister Cowl by Cozy Up Knits. And this is the yarn that they recommended from Tara at that Yarn Habit. And it looks like it's a lot of fun. And it's going to be super nice and cozy and it is soft what's the content it is merino 85 merino 15 percent net so that's uh, like the tweeds, oh the nets or the tweeds i think got it is nep a thing or is nep a is it a content a fiber content or is it a noun that refers to a sorted fiber content i don't know okay. um, you'd have to google that because of the hedgehog fibers. Yeah, they because take your... They recycle. So I had a huge bag that I was going to send to them. Yeah. And then I just spilled coffee on it. I know. And it was like stuff that there was some fluorescence. And Aww. I was like, this would be so cool. And that, you know, I thought, I wonder if I could watch and like buy my batch. Yeah. Because you can get that 15% or whatever yeah. when you send it in to them. Yeah. So I will start again, but uh, I don't know. It's another thing to keep track of. It's another thing to do, right? Yeah, but fun. Right? Yeah. So that, that sounds like good a good pattern to learn brioche on. Yeah, I'm excited. It's not giant, and I can do it. It's and I think, Jamie, uh, well, I just watched their podcast yesterday, and I think it's 20% off right now for that cowl pattern. There is a discount on it right now, yeah. 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 So head over there if you're interested in learning brioche. And it's a DK weight. Yeah, but like they said on their podcast, you can do it in whatever you want. You yeah. just follow the pattern. Yeah. Someone did it in fingering and it looked good currently. Well, it would be drapier with fingering. Yeah. And then if you did it with like a, a chunkier yarn, it would be tighter. Which, it's already nice and snug. Yeah. And it's got the twist in it, so it's mm -hmm. going to it's gonna go in where it needs to go. Yeah. Because winter is coming. It, yeah, it's quickly approaching, mm -hmm. as we are finding out. So then... I want over, this is my very first purchase. I um, so Lisa was in the quest for Chester Knits and we found her right at our first booth. So I did buy this set from Chester Knits, which is, um, it's like a sock. It's called Burrowing Sock Set. Burrowing? Yeah. Did I, did I say it funny? A little bit, it's okay. Burrowing? Yeah. Anyway, um, so it's got the two grays and this nice blue. So. That could also be a cow, but then look at this Shazam! It also goes in there just like that. That looks. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Nice, okay. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So I don't know. There's kind of a plan. That's good. So you keep it a secret. Yes. We joke because we talk. Besides, when we meet for this, and we don't want to tell everything, so we can't tell if we've said it on here already. We want it to be news for each other so we don't tell each other a lot of things well, something ridiculous will happen i'll be like ah, i'm gonna call lisa and i'm like just gonna wait yeah because it's kind of funny and it'll come up at some point somewhere along the lines so you you made a plan but you left me in the dark well i actually so didn't okay. realize i had a plan until just now oh so <laughs> it's part of my plan to look organized without being organized you know why this show is this meant to be Right? Yeah. I, I was. I felt like there was a color palette situation happening here. Yeah. No, that's really good. Um, I also stopped at Chester Knits. And she's, sorry, Chester's at a... Williams Lake. Williams Lake. Um, I had bought some last year of the DK and I made a cowl for my sister. And it is just so nice to work with. It's smooth and it's soft and it's beautiful colors. So I, I couldn't not. I had to get something. So I have decided on doing a look at how original i am with my colors i feel like you have a color scheme going on <sighs> it's okay um a love note so i'm going to hold a um silver sage 
a Surrey, baby Surrey alpaca, and this fingering. No, oh, this is DK. What is it? No, it's a light, light fingering. fingering. Uh, just a light fingering. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> um, to make myself a love note, I don't have one. I think I'm the only one in the knitting community that does not have one. So I'm excited to do that. So are you going to do all the lace? I am going to be all the lace. I think I'm going to do another one, but I think I'm going to do one other DK weight and do the lace and not have um, mohair in my next one. Okay. Just for something different. And then I'll probably wash it wrong and then I'll have a tube top, but whatever. It's fine. <clears throat> That's good. It's fine. That's fine. That's good. And then I did buy one more thing because I was, I don't know, I like this yarn a lot. It's beautiful. What's the name of it? K-Zip Knits. This yarn is called, I can't read that, race, race car. car. Ooh, it's like red. It's so it's coming, it'll be like a flash. Fuchsia. I yeah. thought this was her other color. No, there was one called Snozberry. And I said to Lisa, I think I need this yarn, it's called Snozberry. And she's like, from Willy Wonka? So I said, yeah, but I saw that the Urban Dictionary has a different definition of Snozberry. So, if you haven't uh, experienced that Urban Dictionary Snozberry, give it a little Google. Yeah. But I didn't end up buying that one. No. It, it was like a hot pink. It, it was really nice. It was very hot. It was, and then they had this cool like limey green oh, or yellow. Their yellow colors were fantastic. Green. So I, I did like those a lot too, but I, um, I didn't know if I needed more. So, um, I was just going to ask a question, but I'll just answer it without asking it. Okay. She doesn't know what she's going to make with it yet. No. Yeah. But I could do right? like another like love note. I have three. So, if you're doing a love note without having mohair or something with it, does it take the same, num same amount of yarn? A little bit more to get your gauge, maybe. Well, your fingering and your DK would get you deep or sorry, your fingering and your mohair will get you DK weight. So it should take about the same. This is just fingering. I'm not, okay. I would add a, I would probably add a um, mohair to this. But there's lots of, like I saw, there's those sweaters where you use one, like they're striped and you have the fingering weight and you have like a, um, an alpaca there's or one something in between. With a loop at the back, I saw. Look. Oh yeah, what, would that, Muddy. Would it turn brown? Well, I wouldn't hold them together. I would do oh. a stripe of this and a stripe of oh, this. Oh, okay, that would be cute. And you have like those see-through stripes, right? That would be cute. I don't know. There's cool. no plan. Cool. And there should, probably should have been, but. So you're putting your yarn away. I watched a new podcast. Um, his name is Pearl Pearl Ginge. And he, just about every skein of yarn that he showed, and he had a few. He went, smells sheepy. And he would talk about it, and then he would throw it. Oh. On his couch, probably. I did just wash my floors. <laughs> so I, I was comfortable <laughs> doing that. But every skein was sheepy. And then a hug? And then a toss. And it was hilarious. I um, recommend it. He's a cute little ginger. Oh, British accent. Oh, I'll have to give it a yeah. try. Watch them. I know, I was excited. There were so many of my new podcasts out this week. <gasps> and Stranded. Do you ever follow uh, Jude? I haven't yet. Stranded? I like, I like him a lot. I'm going to have to read that it's one. It's a pretty cool journey that he's on. So, the Stranded podcast. Okay. I'm not shaking the camera, am I? Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, people. A little it's bit motion so trauma. Sorry. Can it's I have to pick up my yarn? I can't do it. Right? That's okay. like $30 sitting on the I floor, know. dude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm telling Trevor, <sighs> disrespect to the yarn. <laughs> so yeah. I stopped at um, our local booth at Top Drawer, and I, she's got these pretty warm design stitch markers. And this set, um, you can see it is a gnome, a little gnome, and a little mushroom thing. It's super cute. And it looks like they're not even, they're snag free. And she makes earrings. She makes the earrings herself out of her um, material. And then 
they're sold in a pair and the people wear them on their earrings. So she sells earrings separate and then you buy those? Yeah. Or you can get, they have like five packs of robots or, or something. But they're super cute. Oh, cute. And you can wear them like jewelry. Like I've seen little um, yeah. necklaces. Little, yeah, where you can store them. I think that Ocean Loops has some necklaces and stuff nice. like that too, right? Like you, you can, so that you can add to them like your charms. Yeah. That's kind of so cool. Maybe you wouldn't drop lose them because you'd be wearing them. Or oh. you would just find earrings and stitch markers or progress keepers or whatever you've got in your couch. Well, I don't know if I, if I would whip out my earring to put in a stitch marker, would you? I have been knitting in the car at cadets or girl guides or something, and I'm like, darn it. And I don't have my scissors, I don't have my tape measure, and I don't have my stitch markers. Mm -hmm. So I pulled off my wedding ring a time or two and used that. <laughs> desperate times, desperate measures. Prioritize. Right? So, but I don't know. I've never thought, oh, I don't know if I'd use like a hoop. I don't know. Sounds cool. Yeah, it's pretty good selection too. There's a pretty warm design. She's got cute things. So if hmm. you happen to go into Top Drawer, I recommend checking out that little rack. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, let us know if you whip out your earring to put oh. on your... Well, you take out your earring. Oh, yeah. Different. What, what a difference a word can make, hey? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Such a difference. I did buy this at Michael's the other day. I went in for some stuff for our home-based business, and I bought this True Blue. Oh, it's bamboo and rayon. It's uh, rayon from bamboo, 100%. I told you it's small writing, right? It's really not. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not that 100% rayon from bamboo. So I thought that I might try to do a ranunculus out of this. Oh, that would be super soft. Because we have like a tropical vacation coming up and I thought, well, that would be kind of nice. It would be. And look, it, it's shiny. Right. Lovely. So. And it takes actually very little yarn. Well, that's what the pattern said. Like I was reading it and I'm like, well, I think I'd only be... The second size mm -hmm. in that pattern and I could hold this double like because this is I'm you could try it both ways it's a it's a three so it'll be like a well, maybe it's I don't a think DK. because I think it would be like this weight if you you hold it double and it this is going to be pretty warm yeah it's it it might yeah. just be me are mm. you not super warm no okay it's just me I did wake up at three in the morning and was convinced my soul was on fire trying to make its way out. It, I don't know, this midlife stuff is a lot. Like, and then I couldn't get back to sleep. Like I felt just sweaty and hot and couldn't sleep. And then my brain starts going. So that's a, that's a whole thing. Did you get up and knit? No. Oh. I, no. Oh. No, I didn't. I woke up at 10 after five. And then I thought, oh, I have to finish this. So I got up and knit. Hmm. No, day. no, I didn't. I wasn't really in the mood. I just wanted to be less hot. I felt hot. Hmm. I wanted to sit on the deck or something like that and cool myself down, but. It was probably raining. That would have been very fast. Yeah, probably. And you would have fogged the neighborhood. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's something smoking in their backyard. It's just Sarah. It's just steam. Right? Yeah. Cooling down. So, I don't really? know. So, we'll give that a, a try, maybe. Cool. Now, I need to stop buying and actually start knitting. You have to start stuff. knitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll do this one after because like, the flow is good. So, now, I just have one project going besides my car knitting. Because that doesn't count. And so, I have... Six months ago, I decided I was going to make... Trevor, my or his, um, a nice warm sweater. He has a furnace in him that he wears polar fleece when it is cold. Like that's his winter coat. So he, um, I thought I, I may as well make him a sweater that he can wear once every two or three years, because when it's finally cold enough. So I'm going to make the Radari. I said it right the first time. 
This is a purchased pattern. Um, Ray wore it on their Needles at the Ready podcast and it looked awesome. And Trevor walked up when I was watching that and he goes, oh, I really like that sweater. And he never responds like that. So I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna go get the stuff to make it. So I got the pattern. The largest size is I think 10 to 15 centimeters smaller than he is. So I'm going to maybe adjust the gauge. Okay, that should work. I don't want I'm to speak at a time. I don't know. I want to swatch and I'm going to find stitches per inch. Yeah. And I'm going to find how many. And you could look to it on the pattern at some point too to see if they extended the sizes. Oh, that's a good idea. Right they might find it. Have, yeah, like between when you purchased it and when. Yeah. Because it's probably through Ravelry to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this is Eco, I believe. Look at me remembering. And there was a tag in the ball. There was, yes. So it's Cascade Yarns Eco. And it's 100% uh, Peruvian Highland wool. And it's not rough or toothy very much. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually pretty soft. No, I like how it like sticks to itself though. Color work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this back in here. And so this one is soft and this is for the body, the main color. And we only need one? No, I have two. And then the color work for the whole top and then at the bottom and on the cuffs are going to be the Lentlopi, which is the recommended uh, yarn for it. And it is toothy. Yeah, it is. I I did some felted slippers and stuff out of Lentlopi before. Oh, so it felts nicely. Yeah. I could wash a sweater for you. <laughs> <laughs> So if it doesn't fit him, my nephew is nine, ten. He's ten, and he might be too big for it. So I think this is going to look super nice. It's a little bit bright. It's not the white is not so bright as that, but it's okay. So yeah, it's more creamy. Yeah, it's much. It's not even natural. It's it is. We'll see how it turns out. I want to swatch. You don't do color work much. I do. Uh, well, I did more when the boys were younger. So would you swatch doing the color work? Would you do like a section of the, the pattern? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do Because that. that'll tell you if you need to up a needle size for your color work too, right? Right. That's the other thing that some people do. Thank you. So, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to cast that on next. So this is my thinking project and then you have your gramps and then my gramps that is my tv project and then you have your car crochet which is my car crochet project right and it has your car crochet i apply i brought my ranunculus in the car well don't do what you gotta do right that's what i forget there was some pressure to finish some something yeah. when i forget to bring my my knitting knitting then I'll use my card knitting, and we're not going to a beach. Yet. Trevor I says. Am. I'm beach. so excited. I didn't want to go. I wanted to adult and do adult things, like replace our roof eventually and do our bathroom and stuff. And then my husband said, I need a holiday. And I thought, yeah, we do. So we did book something coming up in January, but it's still a long ways away. And so probably... Fun. A lot can happen in a very short period of time. I did have tickets to Hawaii. Um, when were we going? You were going in July yeah. or something. And everything shut down in March. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to happen again. We're, it's totally going to be fine. You're totally going to go sit on the beach. Huh. You know what? You got to roll with it. Yeah. You can have the best laid plans and life's going to happen. So... I mean, right now, it's just something to look forward to. And if it doesn't happen, well, we'll figure it out. We'll do something else. Right? But we could go to Knit City. We could. But after I was overwhelmed and burnt out by the oh, that's true. small vendor thing we had. So we could go to Hippie Strings Retreat. I do want to do that. To knit all the things in the mountains. I did comment on clothes yet knits. I'm like, because we, of course, like we've yeah. said before, I've met Jamie. And um, I'm like... We said we should do this. 
but I don't know. We'll have to see what March or is it May? It's in May, May it's which in is May. like the start of wedding season for my husband and my company. And I don't know. We'll have to see. I'd like to. I like Jasper a lot. Jasper yeah. is one of the national parks here. Well, it's in Alberta, but it's very close to us. And it's kind of cool to just see wildlife walking on the street and be all in the mountains. And That would you know, be cool. I don't know. That would be nice. Instead of healthy respect for nature. Yeah, there's so. an extra day at the retreat this year, so that would be awfully nice. That's only four hours away. Mm -hmm. We could so totally do it. We could totally do it. See, I don't go for the wildlife. Me neither. Because from here, I can see one, two, three, four nose prints on my door. The entrance into the bakery from the bear. Because she thought that she couldn't get a close enough view. I looked over, I was wrapping cookies, and I look over and see in the, the window of the door like this. And the this little black bear was trying to see what she could get in the bakery. I don't need more wild. Were they peanut butter cookies? No. They should have been honey. I feel like, I don't know, why do I think bears like peanut butter? Because it's on the peanut butter jar. <laughs> That's oh. why. Sure that's why. <laughs> that's like, probably why. Does it make sense that bears would like peanut butter, but yeah, I think they would like peanut butter a lot. Yeah, definitely. Goes really good with the apples, right? Mm -hmm. So, so that's what is going to be your next project, and then yeah, the radari. Yeah, and then probably the cowl. I'm going to finish one grams by Christmas. I thought you had to do two. Well, I didn't tell anybody except you guys. So. <laughs> Recalculating. I did not tell the receiver of this. And maybe this is the bigger one. Maybe I will, in September, I will try very hard for the birthday. When's the birthday? See, I might give it away in case they watch. Okay. You just don't want to commit yourself to a timeline. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one large knitted item per family member. No, per family. A year. I only have. Maybe you need to put all the families in the draw, and then you just pull one name, yeah, and that's the person that gets the one knitted item. That's a good idea. Although it will take a decade to go through the whole family on each side. Yeah, I have a small family. Yeah. Mhm. Mm hmm. Well, it's all good. It's we'll good. See. So. What's that? I'm cheating a little bit. You said you made that shrug out of charisma. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. Because, and now I know to not wash this. This is the little pine tree. Uh, I close you up. Might, it might be a theme. This is their, one of their patterns. I did it last year. I might do it again, different colors. Maybe make the color work for the the brown and the pink a little bit looser. But it's super cute. They have matching cute. fingerless gloves that go with it. Is that your hat? It is mine, but you know what? In this house, I, 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 it, Trevor won't fit in the, on his head. No. And Spencer won't might have to lose a bet to wear hearts. You bet you could take the heart out and put something else in. Probably could. Or just do plain. I have that, what is the one where there's moose on it? Where there's oh, naughty. The fornicating moose? Yeah. Mm, I don't remember what it's called. But I think if you just Google that, yeah. it comes up. It's just a chart. Yeah, I could totally do something like that for the, I do. the ones that don't like hearts. Right, you could do the moose and then just the trees on the side. The other love. Right? Yeah. There we go. So yeah, this was this was fun to do. And did you buy a kit or you bought the yarn separate? No, I just went and Charisma has actually quite a lot of colors. So I just chose which ones I thought would go well. Mm -hmm. And it's it's super fun because it's fast and the lots of color changes and I don't even I don't think I tore this one out because I made a mistake. When you knit a sweater, mm -hmm. 
Do you start it and finish it without having to undo any significant amount of knitting? Mm, not really. Well, it depends on what it is. With the uh, February knitting sweater, a couple times I went off. I went off. Um, it's only a four chart mm -hmm. repeat. I like a four at least repeat. And a couple of times I did the wrong row, so then that makes the whole that thing go wonky. Mm -hmm. So I did have to, and with yarn overs and stuff, I don't ever just rip it off the needles and just pull back because oh my goodness, you just be yeah. So I ended up like tinking the rows back. I did notice it about like the third round, or after the mm -hmm. third round onto my fourth, just with the knit, and I'm like, hmm, that's weird. And so I did tink that back. I did have to do that once on the sleeve and once on the bottom. So these pearl strings. Mm -hmm. are so handy for trying stuff on and because they're, they're fast yeah why couldn't that be a lifeline it could well if your gauge is big enough like yeah. if it yeah highly recommend it no because you don't have to take the needle out for a lifeline you want no, to thread it it wouldn't exactly. that wouldn't work but yeah because then you'd be threading it through and then you have to go back through and put your needles through those same stitches so it'd be double the work wouldn't it unless you just put it on double ended and used it like a needle i did see somebody on um a podcast had used they broke the cable you know how your circular needles have yeah. that, the cable in between so the cable snapped at the join so then what they did is they put the pearl strings on the end of the the broken Ooh, cable and they just to extend it. it while and then they knit the rest of the row and then they were able to change the oh, the cable out that sounds like a nightmare well like yeah, if, if you didn't have that that sounds like that would suck a lot yeah i had to do it before with this yarn oh. or like try to bend angle any one through there they don't break often but when they do they really they really let you down okay so Cool. So, are you, so you're going to do another one of those hats at some point? I think so. Like yeah. when I need another small project, and maybe I'll do it with the left. I wonder how much is left over from the Twisted Sister. Surely a cowl. It is um, a two. Mobius? It's a, yeah. So, oh, we'll see. I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. Well, I started to do my... Because that... Uh, Gent at work is learning to knit. Right. So I started to just do the Barbie. Barbie. So I just got, and I just used it out of, um, I don't know, something down in the basement. I've seen this pattern. Yeah, I showed it last time. Yeah, I know, but on, on a podcast somewhere. I've seen okay. somebody. Well, it uses the same thing as the uh, flax sweater. Yeah. That's, right? So that's it's handy. just like, that's I, I have my cute little... Who makes these again? Pine and something? She's a BC maker. I don't remember. I, think. I don't know. I got them at the that drawer. I did. And they're cute because the little sloths keep everything. Well, I do feel bad jamming it up. It's but that yeah, was poor placement. <laughs> it could have been the bamboo. <laughs> it could have been. It, it could have been. It, it looks pretty cute when it's on. And I think you can actually. Just use one and put it have, Yeah, but I don't have to join it this way. And then this one here too, like, so I don't know if you've ever done this, but so you need the six inch um, middle piece. The cable. But I don't like the tiny needles. Mm -hmm. So I use one big one on this oh. one and I use one tiny one on this end. That's a good idea. Yeah, so my so my feeder needle is smaller, but my knitting needle is bigger. So smart. Well, I just was like, I don't, I don't really like how this is cramping up my hands mm -hmm. to do this small circumference. Even though on the sweater, I ended up doing the same thing. And your feeder needle doesn't even have to be the same size because whatever you're knitting this to is what it's going to turn out to. So I think this is a four. That makes sense. And this is a five. So, so I'm just working my way through it. I think you'll have a great time. So did you lend him the other half? The other four and the five? No, he has his own needles. Uh, he's gone down. He calls me coach. Oh. He's like, or sensei. That's the other one because oh, he's been watching Cobra one. Kai. So he'll be like, sensei, coach. Yes, grasshopper. <laughs> what size needles do I need? So I wrote it all out for him. And he's gone down. He was walking down on his break to get his needles. So I think now with them, um, Monday being the day of morning here mm -hmm. in, I don't know, does everyone get it? 
Like I, I know the, kids the schools get it, get it mm -hmm. and um, government employees. It wasn't for the teachers. It was a professional development day, non instructional. But now the teachers get it off too. I've heard, not mm -hmm. from anyone here, but yeah. So anyway, so we both work that day. So I'll schedule mm. my break at his break time, and we'll cast it on, and I'll get him nice. on the right track, and he can start working on it. He goes home with his homework to make away. That's cool. So that'd be good. I should be done that shortly, and then I. I don't know. I don't know what's next. I don't know what I want to do next. I know I have to wind some yarn. Do you want to do it here? And I actually have heart palpitations thinking about how it's going to go down. I've got level tables. <laughs> I do have, my husband came downstairs and he's like, we need to, we need to fix this so that you know, you have a space to, to do this properly. And so really? I think, yeah, so I think kind of we have a closet that's doesn't have anything in it but garbage, right? Not garbage. Uh -huh. It's not garbage. It's not a hoarding house. <laughs> well, um, I'm the Christmas tree I'm and like seasonal stuff, right? Trying to follow how this is going to be your space. Well, no, it's <laughs> like it's down in, in the prop room. So my oh, husband okay. and I run a DJ photo booth company here in the north. And um, so I have a big room of, of photo booth props. And sometimes you have to explain to people why you have... Horse head, horse head masks in your bedroom when they're coming over to do work or whatever, right? So, uh, so I've had to do that when the drywallers had come in to do some work. They're like, what goes on in this room? So you, know, you kind of have to explain that you have this side job and it isn't what it look, what they're thinking. So I think we'll take the, the stuff out of that area. Yeah. Like we'll leave the photo booth props and stuff in that area, but out of that closet. And put like a, I see what I'm saying, like a lot today. <laughs> anyway, we'll put a desk in that area yep. and then I can probably just leave it set up all the time without trying to yep. set it up. And then have a nice lip? Uh, well, we would build it. Like he, oh. would, he would build it into That's that so space. Nice. And then we can, I can make it however we need. So is it soundproof down there? Why? So that people can't hear me yelling at the balls of yarn? No. Okay. Probably not. It's okay. I think um, it's right under the bedroom in case he's sleeping. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel my blood pressure go up at the thought of it these days, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I can do it. I used to do it fine, no problem, before. I, I, I like don't doing it. I don't know what your problem is. Well, I don't know either. And then I bought, remember my handy dandy? tool off Amazon that was going to yep. go onto the drill to make the thing spin. Yeah. Well, it's not going to work. Why? Well, because, so the ball winder comes down and the handle's here, but that piece spins, the little nub on the handle. Yeah. So if you put it on there. It's just going to spin? And, and in order to do the crank, it has to go around. So the drill is it's just going to. the handle off. Because the handle is what's turning the thing. I don't know if I can get thing. the handle off. Oh. Can you use your other one? No, because I, well, I don't know. I'm not trying to take that sucker apart. Because there's a, a tool you can get, and it's um, got all the pins in it, and you can put it on the weirdest shape thing, and it works. It holds it. But because it does such a circle, like if you were to do a screw well, or it has a to guitar be the other one. It has to be your other one. But they both do a circle. The other one does a big circle. Yeah, but you put it at the post where you spin around. I don't think you can actually do that because it has a belt on it. Oh. So if you take that apart, it's not going to work. It was a great idea. It was probably nature's way of saying, stop. You do not need a drill to make the situation better. You could put a hook on it. I'm not going to do anything. And then you could re-skein things with it because then it twists it. And then you can just turn it into one of these. But it's not that. It's just a little tiny nub that goes onto a drill. Oh, I thought you bought the, a drill, like a little yeah. screwdriver. Well, we already had one. Oh. So he was going to just lend me that. Right. But then when we got the piece, I realized, it's, or he realized that it wasn't going to work because the circle's too big. So if anybody has a winder that this part would work for. Yeah. It might be available. I have. Central I have a piece. Well, I can ship it. That's true. 
I can ship it. And depending on how this whole experience winding my yarn goes, I may have a bow winder up for grabs too. <laughs> or two bow winders. <laughs> And then all my yarn will come to Lisa's house to be skein or to be wound into bowls. And I'll be the bowl winder. Right? Yeah. That's good. So we'll see. It's good. So, I'm not I'm not even taking these until I'm ready to do them. Yeah. That's how I don't do them. Oh. Well, so that's I, probably why I don't cast on multiple projects. Just leave your yarn here. I will cake it and then you can she can cast on multiple projects. Or I'll come back and Lisa will cast it all onto multiple projects. You did not have this set called Burrowing. Mm -hmm. I bought Burrowing. I feel like that's like char leaving Dracula in charge of the blood bank. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oftentimes at work, I'm like, you can trust me with a million dollars. You can leave a million dollars on this desk. You, if you leave a Snickers bar, Chocolate. that is your problem. Right? Yeah. I cannot guarantee that will be here when you come back. Yeah. So you best take it with you when you go, right? Yeah. So You can't see, but right behind the camera is a display with caramel popcorn. Mm -hmm. and what's your point? <laughs> it's begging me to open it. Oh, is That's it? my Snickers bar. Oh. Yeah. I'm like... How do you work all day with all this wonderful smell? So I came in, it smelled like fresh muffins. Yeah, there's, we're doing a mark, uh, concession for a fundraiser for my son's cadets. So uh, there's gonna be some nice fresh muffins and other goodies from the bakery. That sounds good. So, so that's your plans this weekend? Yeah, that's what we're doing. It is going to be high of 13 degrees and periods of rain all day. And it's outside, isn't it? And it's outside. So, I'm going to hopefully wear my uh, seagrass. That'd be a good one. Hopefully, none of your magic knots. It won't. It's going to be fine. She's got great confidence now. It's going to be great. She's got good confidence. Yes. The end that she tugged on was not actually a loose end, contrary yeah. to previous belief so that's yeah a relief yeah thank goodness well you are you working the concession the whole time or we have time to knit there's going to be a span of time when there's nobody so i'm going to bring my grants good yeah lock you in the concession booth with your grants yeah it'll be good that'll be good yeah i know i have the whole weekend off i actually had thursday off too so i watched some um do you have amazon prime mm -hmm. have you watched why women kill i have not yet I like that show a lot. If you have Amazon Prime, I think it's on Netflix too, but only one season on Netflix, mm -hmm. I think. And there's two seasons on Amazon Prime, and they're, I don't know if they're making more. Mm -hmm. Is it by the same guy that wrote um, Desperate Housewives? Mark, Mark Cherry? See, I didn't watch that either. No? No. Um, I liked Desperate Housewives, but it's, it's an interesting story. And cool. it's, yeah. There's two seasons, and it doesn't really matter that there's not going to be another season because it pretty much ends with, yeah. like, each one ends with that set yeah. of people, and then it's a different set that happens again. Mm -hmm. So when everybody's gone for the day, I've turned that on, and I hunkered down and worked on my February lady card again, and nice. I did some things. Have you watched A Million Little Things? No. Is that the one that they warned parents about? No. That's 13 Reasons Why. Oh, okay. Um, this one, Mom says, watch it. It's a good show. It's really good. You can put it on the bakery. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. Very first episode, it's four guys, and one of them commits suicide. It's not a spoiler. It happens in the first six minutes. One of them commits suicide, and they're all trying to figure out why. I couldn't even finish the first episode because I cannot ugly cry in the bakery. Mm because people will walk in and it's not good for them to see me crying in bread. So, this is bread so salty. <laughs> the tears. Um, yeah, so um, I don't, I have a feeling it's like, this is us, but I'll try it later when I'm feeling stronger. I, do you find that as you've aged, you get more weepy? Well, like, as soon as I had kids or as soon as I was pregnant, Tim Hortons commercials had me bawling. Mm -hmm. And now, yeah, no. 
If there's a dog that dies, no. Yeah, I know. I might Don't watch it. look over and my lips quivering and my eyes <laughs> are filling with tears. And he's like, this is actually a happy show. And I'm like, I know, I'm happy. I'm so happy. I don't know. I don't, yeah, right? I know. I don't no. like feeling the feelings. Well, I, you're right. No. I don't know. No. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's just one of those things, like, and anything, like, I used to watch a lot of Datelines. Okay. Um, like, see, I say like a lot. <laughs> and that could be a drinking game. Every time I say like, take a shot. <laughs> You'll be drunk in the first 15 minutes. Don't, don't do it. I gotta, I gotta work on that. You can't get to drink no. properly. No. Well, you can. It's just the next day you spend a lot of time unpicking. And That's right. I've done that before. I had a couple glasses of wine on the deck with some friends and visited and the next oh. day I could not believe the creation I made. She doesn't like me to anything. I do. I do too. No, she does. I'm just joking. <laughs> she knows I don't drink much. Right? Well, yeah. well I didn't either. You but, don't either, no. But clearly that night I was... It That's affected funny. me a little bit more than others, or I, or it was dark and I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. There was a lot of contributing factors. Totally. So, have you watched Sins of the Mother on Netflix? No, I did see that though on there. Was it good? It was only I think only two or three episodes. Three episodes, I think. It was, I think it was well done. Yeah. Yeah, it was. A Is little... it a true story? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real. Huh. It was only this much. I don't know. I always. I don't know. It wasn't the big controversial making a murderer miniseries. No. I didn't even watch all of that. No? No, my sister did. And, and you know, she called me and said I should watch it. I did try, but I think it was like around the same age as when the kids were watching some of their oh. shows and around the same. So I found it really hard. I'd be at work all day and then turn my show on and everybody would kind of come into the living room. And so it wasn't really something that they all wanted to watch. So, no. And as we've established, when I fall asleep listening to podcasts <laughs> and you know, like murder ones or something, I wake up in a cold sweat. <laughs> that is awful. It's awful to fall asleep listening to something pleasant and wake up to it. And then they chop the heads off and... Just keep thinking, what? Elizabeth told me how to make it so it turns my phone turns off at night on its own. Oh, how do you do that? You set a timer for the app. Oh. So Netflix, when I put on whatever show, it turns off after 30 minutes. And I have to sleep it for 27. <laughs> Sometimes, so. you know, you just lay there and you're like, I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I need something. And then I turn whatever on. And it's like minutes. Yeah, I know. Minutes. I, I know. I just often, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just crazy. crazy. You it's know, crazy. and I'll have it, like, facing me, because it'll fall asleep facing the other way, so I'll have my screen on. I'll be watching it for a bit. But, yeah, it'll go for a few hours till I realize and knock it off, like, turn it down. or If you turn, yeah, set the timer. You'll, you'll like it. I will, especially if I'm not waking up to... Screaming and or a murder podcast. Murders in the building. Only murders in the building. Murders, not murderers. Murderers. That no, that is the podcast in the podcast or in the show. Oh. Only murders in the building. Had me laughing out loud for the last we episode. Started watching that. We did not finish it though. I don't know why. Well, maybe because only one episode or two episodes would come out at a time. No, it was recent, so there was there was lots to pick from, which is why we did pick it. Oh. But we finished, did you watch Upload? Yes. I like that. That was cute. Yeah, I did like that. Yeah. I hope they come up with another season. I hope so, too. That was a good one. Yeah. So, how's driving with your teenager? Right? Isn't it fun almost dying and then being told to chill? Hey, Spencer, are you watching? No. I could have made it. Is the one I hear. Or I, don't get I should have gunned it. <laughs> really? I should have gunned it. What? <laughs> That's not what that yellow means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> no. Yeah. They, they will be okay. They will. They'll be just fine. But now we have a rule 
to discourage I could have made it and I should have gotten it. <laughs> that if a a law is broken, stop the car right now, you're out, and I get to drive. Yeah. That's the rule. I told you there's a lot of yelling involved with teaching them. <sighs> I thought it could be like gentle parenting, you know, when you're like, Hello, teenage human. If you could please drive and fall right? Yeah, but no. No. It's more like Wait, wait, wait. the pedal is not on our side. Why are we turning this way? Yeah, wrong side of the meridian, boy. <laughs> this side. Oh, it, it, it's scary. I had a friend who has a son who's six months older than mine. She says, right on, now I can bring my beer and I can be much more relaxed. <laughs> she was totally joking. Uh, but Spencer said, I, I read it by him. I said, can we stop at the liquor store, please? I need to get some beer for the road. And he goes, okay. Really? And I said, no, it's illegal for anybody in the vehicle to be drinking. And he goes, oh. It's not the 80s anymore. <laughs> Do you have a seatbelt on? Yes. Then you're not allowed to drink. <laughs> Are you in this car? Yes. Then you're not allowed to drink. Right? I yeah. know. It's so... <laughs> These independent milestones, and they're important that they do them. And it's, it's, it's hard to let them go. I don't know how. I mean, I don't know if my parents knew half the stuff we did. I don't think they did. You were naughty. Well, no, I just, it's not that. It's just, you know, I mean, they didn't know necessarily where their car was. I have a GPS on my car. I can tell you where my car is. That's true. That, yes. I, I can tell you that my car shouldn't be where it's going. There's an app where it can show how fast you're going, too. Yeah. But you, you have kids that can, well, one that can drive by himself. Mm -hmm. So I know how fast my kid is going because I'm right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't. He doesn't really drive too fast. That's good. Like, well, I don't know. Not with me. And there are not when we've seen him driving. He's not the fastest yet, but it's good. Who knows? Speeding ticket gets mailed to you. But I don't remember parking at the university in this parking lot. Yeah. I think more of a parking ticket. No, you can speed in the parking lot. There's a 30 in there. I don't think there's cameras, is there? Because if I there is, I'm getting some tickets. I dropped them off most of the week. <laughs> and, you know, like teenagers, like, why would, why would we leave 15 minutes early? What am I going to do with this extra five minutes of time? I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Employers, could you mention it to, the, to your young employees who show up at start time or... A few minutes after could you please scold them for it well just even you know there doesn't seem to be any consequences in school no you turn in assignments late no problem there's not marks missing or whatever mm -hmm. run he'll go months without turning anything in and then he'll turn in all this work and then of course he how does the teacher have time to mark this crap if you don't show up for the wedding on time uh, they don't have an answer well and how disrespectful yeah. of me not to value their time that's right to show up on time, That's right? Right? There, there'll be times when you're late, and there'll be times when you're not feeling well, and there'll be those kinds of times. And yes, we just came out of a two-year pandemic where, you know, if you were unwell, you stayed home, and blah blah blah. But I think we really need to know the difference between unwell, unwell, and just I don't actually feel like going today. We have um, streamlined hooky. Yeah. Well. Rather than sometimes, I have a headache, I don't think I can go. And of course, then you'll say, well, should we do a COVID test? Or whatever. Well, it's not that kind of headache. It's just a normal headache, which... Then have a glass of water. Yeah. And maybe if you had some more sleep. Yeah. And, but, what I don't you know. know. We survived. I'm sure that they'll survive too. Yeah. It'd just be nice if they just hear me saying the words all the time. You're late. You need to make sure you're on time. You need to make like, yeah, have a fast teacher. Yeah. Right? They don't get it. So. It's pretty good. I know. Sometimes it's like, why are you wasting your breath? No. And then I can choose to either be happy or be right. And there's, you know, a fine line between that. So I'm just right now, I'm choosing to be happy. I mention it. I say, you know. I think it would be nice if you respected the teacher's time. You know, it's important we get to end school. It's important we're on time. 
But until somebody else reiterates that and there's a consequence, That's it's right. just they don't me. care. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just gently mentioning sprinkling the words of wisdom into the dough. Osmosis. Right? And then going on and being happy with my life because I'm yeah. showing up where I need to be and I'm doing what I need to do. Good job. Right? Totally. I only have control over you. It's true. So, I don't know. Don't tell the kids, okay? They already know. <sighs> They're wise beyond their years. Mine don't tell me they know that already. No. Elizabeth goes, okay. Um, and she's so sweet and she doesn't do it most of the time. But she does the right words and actions. Yeah. So I'm thrown off. I am a fool. It's okay. It's all good. Yeah. She, I should be careful though. She's such a sweet girl. And she watches. She watches? <laughs> she actually watch? watches. Aww. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> She's so, a sweet girl. She is. She is. Girl. And Spencer helps us out with all our technical issues. He does. He does our, our designing. With our, right? Yeah. You can't really see it now because we've created such a dark shadow and all my um, projects. Projects aren't. So, hey, you know what I didn't show and I'm just going to quickly show it now before we go? Yeah. But guess what I'm going to put my hat in? <gasps> So last year I bought from Tofino Knits. It was um, the Halloween. Gather ye sisters. Yeah. Gather so around. we all know. Gather around. Gather around. So we all know I love um, Focus Pocus, Pocus Pocus. And it's two more Sundays until it comes out on the 30th. So I'm going to put it in my Hocus Pocus Gather Around Sisters. And look, it's even got the tiny cat that came. But oh, the cute. cat lost an, a, a leg. Oh. Yeah, he lost a leg. I uh, blame a dog. Well, it could have been a dog, or it could have been, I didn't realize, it looks pretty fine to you. Yeah. I don't know. I never That's noticed till just the other day, yeah. so I thought, well, maybe it came like that, or maybe I, I guess I just lost it. Yeah. Oh, oh it's pretty see, inside. I still have a couple of balls oh. that um, didn't get cleaned out. Nice. Yeah. Anyway. You gave me a couple of your uh, schemes, Thackeray Binks. Yes. From that set. But, and it was like this yellow and black, like on his yeah. eyes and his yeah. body. It was super cute. So. Made cute socks. Yeah. So. So that's what's going to go. My, um, my barley will go into there. Awesome. And then I can start to take it with me on the go. Because that's part of the reason I don't take things on the go is because I never am prepared enough for the, for oh. the bag. There we go. Right? Yeah, no, you're me. I'm ready to travel. You're you're good. Right? Anyway, right. should we call it? I think so. We're yeah. we're it's dinner time. At time. People are going to be calling me saying We're hungry. What's for dinner? Why aren't you home feeding me? Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll probably end up calling in home on the way home saying, What's for dinner? That's a good idea. <laughs> Why are you feeding me? And Trevor picked up some rotisserie chickens. Mm. So chickens like more than one yes more than one because they're lunches for everybody and then i am going they actually make really good broth when you boil down the bones and whatever oh. leftovers are still on it and it's soup season it is soup season one more thing the soup train is awesome where you make a pot of soup and there's always do you make soup mm -hmm. do you ever make enough soup where you run out no. You always like toss some of it because you can't eat it all. Mm -hmm. Put it in the quart jar and give it to a friend. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because then they have lunch and it's soup and it's delicious and then you repay the favor and it is awesome. I made some broccoli cheddar soup the other day. It was really good. My broccoli cheese soup. I know. Well, I didn't know about the soup train. Well. So now I do. But yeah. then I then I messaged a friend because I brought it to work one day and she tried it and she said it was really good so I said do you want like we'll take turns bringing lunch for each other oh. so I said do you want super salad and she said that she really liked the soup so I'm like no problem I'll just whip up another batch it's super easy it didn't turn out the same you know what happened you is, scorched it. I didn't scorch it but it got too hot and it curdled. curdled and I've never had that happen before yeah so I was so mad because a it was like seven at night and I didn't really want to be making soup no but I was looking forward to having nice soup yeah until I had not nice soup well uh -huh. and it smelled funny too when I went to throw it out I was like 
so I know. I know that was disappointing in a bowl. Well, next try time. again. I will yeah. try again. I, so I've never had it happen before, and I just think I was trying to hurry along the vegetables, getting nice and soft, and I was enjoying that it was like bubbling away on the stove. And then I had chunky soup. Mm -hmm. In cheese. a good way. No. It wasn't even the cheese. It was, I think it was the milk. No, it turned into the cheese. It's like cottage cheese. Yes. Mm. It's delicious. With... What? <laughs> <laughs> it looked so bad. It smelled so bad. It's it was delicious no. on its own. It's not delicious in broccoli soup. Probably cottage cheese, yes. But not... Yeah. But tastes like broccoli with... <laughs> no. No. Anyway. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our channel and the thumbs up. Leave us a comment. If you like, leave us, let us know where you're uh, messaging from. That's really cool hearing about people in Australia and England and Ontario and all over the place. Mm -hmm. So leave us a message and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks.